Hurler is a wooden coaster that opened at Carowinds in the year 1994 and was manufactured by International Coasters Incorporated, who I believe only manufactured this and the original Hurler at King's Dominion, which was given the RMC treatment and became Twisted Timbers. But this features a triple out and back layout, pretty average size for a wooden coaster, stands 83 feet tall, reaches a top speed of 50 miles per hour, and has a track length of 3,157 feet. When I rode Hurler in June of 2019, it was actually running really smooth. I rode it about three times, and I sat all throughout the train. I sat in the back, I sat in the middle, and I may have even sat in the front, and it was pretty much the same throughout, no matter where I sat. It offered a very smooth ride experience, I think, for a wooden coaster. It did look like they've done a lot of track work to it recently. It is kind of bumpy. It's a wooden coaster, and you're going to get that. In my opinion, it was just really smooth. However, it has a triple out and back layout, and it's just full of airtime hills, but none of them really give any airtime. There are a couple hills towards the beginning of the ride that offer the smallest bit of floater, maybe, but, I mean, you're barely coming out of your seat. You're still touching the seat, really. It's really weak airtime, and it's a really average layout. It's not a bad layout, but it just consists of hills and bank turns. So very simple, and the airtime hills just don't really give any airtime. Now, one thing about this ride is it features the dreaded trim brakes after the first drop. So you go down the first drop, and the first drop is actually pretty good. You pick up a lot of speed, and then you hit the trim brake right after that. So you lose a little bit of speed there before you go around that turnaround. And I understand why they have the trim brake there. I'm sure it saves a lot of wear and tear. I did notice that one of the sections that was retracked was that first turnaround. I'm sure that they want to preserve that as long as they can. So I understand the reasoning for having the trim brake there, but it really hinders the ride experience. And I feel like you could get a lot more airtime out of this if you remove those trim brakes there. So overall, I thought Hurler was a surprisingly fun ride. I didn't go into this ride with very high expectations and I wasn't blown away, but I was pleasantly surprised how comfortable the ride was, but the airtime was pretty much non-existent, which is pretty unfortunate. So I feel like a score of six is in line for Hurler. It's not a bad ride. I don't think it's terrible, but at the same time, just some simple things could really improve this ride. Basically, if you just take off the trim brake there, I think the ride would be a lot better. But I do feel like they've done a pretty good job at maintaining this. Like I said, it was running really smooth when I rode it. I got three different rides on it, and it was pretty enjoyable. So overall, Hurler is a decent wooden coaster that I think you should at least try to get on once when you go to Carowinds, but you don't really need to ride it any more than once. Nothing outstanding. What do you guys think about Hurler at Carowinds? And if you got the chance to ride Hurler before it became Twisted Timbers at King's Dominion, what did you think about that Hurler versus the one at Carowinds? I've heard that the one at King's Dominion was apparently a lot worse than this one. So I would like to know your guys' thoughts and just what do you think about Hurler in general? Thank you guys so much for watching this. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out this channel a lot. Don't forget to like my page on Facebook, Coaster Daddy, and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Thanks for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.